Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you again here today on Winning Wednesday. And before I get going on what I want to talk about, this horse behind me, this is Hefe. He's a four or five year old uh, quarter horse that came to me. He had been in training for a couple months, uh, three months, I believe, at another location and then just had some holes in his training. So he came to me and is doing really, really well. And, and for Winning Wednesday, I want to talk about what I had in mind about him and about Hefe. And before I do that, I want to let you know that, <clears throat> just give you a couple of announcements. We are having our Lady Horse Boss uh, annual or biannual ride and barbecue. It's going to be a lunch at the Olive Mill in Queen Creek, and that's going to be uh, January 24th. So that's Sunday, January 24th. I hope you guys put that on your calendar and make sure to, to show up there and join us. It's free. There's there's no charge. You can ride with me and Stacy, the Lady Horse Boss, and we're excited to go on that ride. We're going to ride up into the north a little bit from the olive mill so we're going to park at olive mill and then and then we're going to ride north into the queen creek wash so we look forward to that hope you guys can join us there for the lady horse boss biannual ride and the other two things is we have clinics coming up we have a clinic in february so it's february 27th and 28th at pnm arena so look on our website and look at facebook to to see the the times and the all the information about that and how you can join that clinic and participate in that clinic and then we have a, a similar clinic at uh, superstition stables on march 27th and 28th so february 27th and 28th we have a clinic and march 27th and 28th we have a clinic the march clinic is going to include some riding the february clinic most likely will be groundwork but a lot of it is fundamentals and desensitizing that's what i specialize in and that's what the that's where the biggest holes are in people's horses that i see like this horse behind me hefe he came to me supposedly with some groundwork done and he probably did have some groundwork done he certainly knew how to yield his hindquarters well uh, but there were a lot of holes in his training and for winning wednesday i wanted to talk about uh being being particular about the basics about the fundamentals whether it be in anything in life whether you're trying to exercise and lose some weight or you're trying to build confidence with your horse you want to start with the small simple things if you start with those small simple things and you build from there and you build that foundation and that's what i teach building the foundation if you build a good foundation you're going to have a strong house you're going to have a strong horse you're going to have a great relationship with your horse if you just build that relationship first for example jefe back here when i i started him three days ago i would ask him to lunge he didn't know how to lunge at a canter he didn't know how to round pin at a canter uh, he didn't really know how to follow me in a round pin. He didn't know how to back up off of my pressure. He didn't know how to uh, lead beside. He didn't. There, there were a lot of holes in his in in what he he knew at that point. So, uh, and up to this point, he's learned so much. It's only been three days of training. I just finished up, or I'm about to finish up his third day of training. He's coming along really well. He's actually going to be a much calmer horse than we other than his owner um, thought he was before because he was kind of reactive but i i believe that he just hadn't had enough groundwork and if you focus on those simple things in horsemanship it's your groundwork it's your desensitizing on the ground it's your sensitizing on the ground focus on those simple things don't get too complicated you're gonna have much more success and safety with your horse and that ultimately leads to the fun that we that we have when we're with our horses we don't want it to be dangerous it's no fun when it's dangerous so when our horses know what they're doing and they're desensitized as well it's just so much fun and there was a, a trainer i can't remember if it was warwick schiller or somebody uh, i had heard a quote one time and i'm going to butcher it a little bit right here but i wanted to t i wanted to mention it because it has to do with what we're talking about today and that is um he said, beginner riders try to train at a, an intermediate level, and intermediate riders try to train at an advanced level. And advanced riders always train at a simple beginner level. They try to get the simple things correct. They try to get the simple things really, really good. So remember that, that uh, principle, the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid, or keep it simple, silly. Um, just keep it simple. Make sure you keep your training simple. Focus on the small things that build to, to make an excellent horse and an excellent horseman in yourself. Hope you, I hope that helped today for Winning Wednesday. Remember to keep it simple. I hope you join us for our ride um, at the, our Lady Horse Boss ride on the 24th of January. So that's just in a couple weeks on a Sunday. Hope you join us there and I hope you can join us at our clinic whether you be a participant or a um, or an auditor. We look forward to seeing you there. Until next time, be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.